Hi, we're interviewing Emily Kramer today. I'm John Frungin, Director of the William J. Hughes Center for Public Policy at Stockton University, where we sponsor student intern research each semester. And Emily was one of our researchers in the spring of 2022. So Emily, why don't we start out just telling us a little bit about yourself. Sure, uh, my name is Emily. I am a political science student at um, Stockton, obviously. And I am concent my concentration's in international affairs. I'm also a world language major and I have a minor in global studies. And so uh, with, with that kind of background, you have a great interest in um, multiculturalism, different populations and diversity, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I work a lot with a nonprofit called Amnesty International, which is a human rights organization. And I do a lot of work with Model UN, which is, you know, a lot of cultural, you know, learning about different cultures other than my own. So yeah, I, I love this kind of stuff. That's great, because the um, topic of your paper was on diversity in New Jersey and documenting changes in diversity. So why don't you give us kind of a brief overview of what you tried to do in this paper and what you looked at. All right, so um, basically I tried to see how New Jersey has changed our, the makeup of New Jersey, meaning the ethnicity, the races of those who live in New Jersey um, using census data from 2000, 2010 and 2020, which is the most recent data set that we have. Um, and basically I've kind of tracked where more people, like where people generally live depending on their race and whether that's more North, whether it's Northeast and whether or not there's been a increase or a decrease in, you know, white people, black people, depending on where they live and, you know, you know different communities that are in New Jersey and represented in New Jersey. So you actually look at um, these different ethnic and racial populations at the county level, and you created an index so that you could measure um, change in their share of the population, and also uh, that we could compare apples to apples from county to county. So according to your findings, what counties in New Jersey are the most diverse, and what uh, counties are the least diverse? Did, and right, so, did you notice any trends? Um, what I typically saw was, I, I kind of expected it, but the country, the counties specifically were um, Hudson, Essex, um, Middlesex, Union, kind of the northeast region of New Jersey that's kind of close to New York City. Um, and that makes sense because, you know, there's a lot of diversity in, in cities because there's a lot of people in cities. So I kind of figured they would be there would be the most diversity and by diversity I mean the most amount of different races that are represented um, there but I also saw a pretty big um, amount of diversity in Cumberland County which I didn't necessarily expect it was a little um, surprising um, because most of them kind of concentrated in that northeast region and then you have this random county it seems in the south um, so yeah, that's I expected it to be a pretty low in diversity because it's surrounded by a lot of other counties that are kind of low on the diversity scale. But yeah, um, and the counties that were kind of the least diverse, which were kind of closer to Pennsylvania and like, you know, more rural kind of farmlands were Hunterton, Warren, Sussex, those kind of northwest kind of regions. So. And you, uh, you documented change. So in, in each county, the level of change might be very different. In some counties, uh, diversity grew quite a bit. In other counties, it barely grew at all. And uh, one of the, I think, values of your research is I really have not seen this kind of analysis done since the 2020 census data came out. And, and it's good to know um, who we are as a state and where we see growth in diversity and, and where we don't. So um, did any, anything else surprise you or did you, um, did you expect to see the kind of growth uh, in some of these counties that we did see? Um, I think it was a bit surprising for, I mean, COVID changed so much of everything. So I think 
especially since 2010. I mean, that was 10 years. So you expect to see, you know, something, but I think I was more surprised at seeing how a lot of counties that I might've seen are expected to grow like 10, 20, big number change had really kind of stayed pretty consistent with, you know, the diversity levels that they had, you know, what populations were living there. Um, and my county, Burlington County, that is like right next to Philadelphia, kind of expected to see a little bit more diversity. And I was expecting a lot more change just because we're so close to a big city like Philadelphia, but it was pretty moderate. It wasn't like a huge change. It was kind of in the middle for all of the counties in New Jersey. So I think that was a little bit surprising for me. Well, it's important to have these numbers so that we know specifically where where the populations are more diverse, where the growth is happening. So my last question, um, how do you think this data can serve a public purpose and uh, explain why it's important? I mean, kind of what you said, where it's important to know who we are and as a state and also how we are in comparison to maybe other states and the country at large. But I think most importantly, it's how representatives and local and, and county governments and or how they can represent those populations and best serve their communities. Because it's important for us to know who's living in our state, but it's most important for the representatives to know who's in that state. So we know which programs and we know which, which people we're trying to serve and where what their backgrounds are like and how to best serve them in the best way we can so great emily's research can be found on the hughes center website and that's www.stockton.edu slash hughes center all one word emily thank you for speaking with us today great job on the research and you can find emily's paper as well as other student research on our site thank you